<clears throat> hey, what's up, guys? Talking sports with Pedro and Danny. We are here doing our second show of the day. Uh, we did a Battleborn Media Network's uh, community highlight earlier. If you want to check that out, you can listen to that. There's some really good content. Uh, but now we're going to do the fun stuff. Uh, we usually toast uh, with, with a beer, but I think Danny and what, are you? Did, what, what do you got over there, Dan? I, I got a tea. Okay, so I, Dan, I, Dan, I got a tea. We'll, we'll, we'll cheers. We'll, we'll, we'll we have cheers. to start that. We'll, we'll cheers to. to <laughs> I mean, you have water too, yep. so. Um, either way, we always we always cheers to something, but uh, it's been a really busy day, so um, I didn't really feel like having a beer today. So, uh, so we we wanted to welcome uh, Ashley uh, from the Ship Group. Uh, thank you for joining us. We'll no be problem. chatting with you a little bit about the Ship Group and about uh, about what you do with with them. Uh, but before that, uh, we were going to be talking NFL playoffs and some of the chaos that ensued last week, as well as some local youth wrestling, high school, travel soccer, uh, all kinds of, there's even more to, to talk about as well. So, uh, but that's what we're going to, we're, we're going to start off with, uh, once we talk to Ashley a little bit. So Ashley, uh, we want to thank the ship group for supporting uh, Battleborn Media Networks and Talking Sports with Pedro and Danny. So, Ashley, uh, th thanks for joining us. No problem. Thanks for having me. How? Uh, so, tell us a little bit about yourself and what it is that you do with the Ship Group. Well, I have been with the Ship Group for about six years now, and I started as their transaction coordinator. And I recently, just at the start of the new year, has changed over to a full-time real estate agent. Okay, what's a transaction coordinator? So basically when people go under contract, there's a 10-page contract that we have to follow. I make sure that all of the due dates and contingencies and all the legalities of the contract go through, um, following the date, the deadlines and all that. All that stuff. other stuff Melissa was talking about last time. Remember we were talking about yeah, everything else that goes into it. We, and, and, and most people don't realize how yeah. much goes into it? Because, uh, like I said, you know, with Melissa, that you know, most people think you just go out and you show a house and okay, sign some papers, and then away you go. But yeah. there's much, much more yeah. that goes into that. Yeah, so. there's a lot of things that happen from signing to closing day, which is about 45 days. So and, and there's it, a lot of things. And <laughs> it sounds like from the people that we've talked to, both with the ship group and the Gaeta group, that's uh, that's kind of your guys is uh, we're where everybody likes the advantage of the group atmosphere mm -hmm. and working together, whereas before you kind of had to do, I mean, almost everything, but you guys split it up and it's a true team effort. So talk right. a little bit about how, how, how unique uh, EXP Realty is and the ship group. Um, basically, ship group has their own dedicated transaction coordinator for our agents, and so they're not messing around with anybody else's um, contracts or anything and we just focus on our deadlines and our appraisals lenders titles and all that stuff um, we also have a dedicated marketing person so then if you have a house to sell or list um, then we try to get it out there as many places as we can so the as a transaction coordinator uh, do you think that really helped you I'm, I'm sure it did but uh, when you decided to become uh, to get your real estate license was yes. that you probably pretty much already knew almost everything that was on that test. Is a test hard? I, I've um, always wondered that. There's a test? Yeah, you yeah, yeah you yeah. <laughs> It's not <laughs> just hey buy this house. No, I, I, did, I mean like selling cars you gotta go to the D M V and get, you know, a car salesman license, but I didn't realize there there was a test. Oh yeah, there you was. gotta get your real estate license. Yeah, you're uh, talking uh, money okay. and everything. We we brought we weren't gonna <laughs> ask this, but we brought it up. So let's find out. Yeah, what what absolutely. is the test absolutely. like? What exactly is it testing you on mm -hmm. and, and what does it take to get it? So there is multiple things. So there's like five or ten or five to ten disclosures per contract and then the actual contract. So everything on like our duties owed or our um, disclosures, we have to learn and follow abide. So we I personally went down to Las Vegas for two weeks, did a test or did classes all day long full time and then came back and did the testing here in Elko. Um, there's a state and a federal test that you have to pass both of them in order to get your license. And wow. so sometimes, yes, it's a while to, before 
many multiple times that you test to get your license um and so you can take it until you pass honestly but it is pretty difficult just because they word it you know they're tricky they're state and federal regulated and so it's very tricky to is it like an 80 percent pass Mm -hmm, 80 percent or more you get how many questions uh, roughly, I can't remember. Rough, I roughly, think total like a hundred. Oh, geez. Yeah. Wow. And so there's a huge packet that you get from the school and you just go to the school or you can do it online um, or you can just video chat with them. And so you read through all these programs, you pass the schooling and then then you can take your state and federal classes. So you had a real big advantage then, right? Because mm-hmm. I'm sure a lot of the questions on there you had e- dealt with it in the past from your previous job, right. like your pre- previous position. Uh, so, yeah, I've always wondered that. I didn't know it. Yeah, so, Danny, it's not just making a post on <laughs> Facebook uh, saying, hey, Dude, my... I, yeah, I mean, I, I, <laughs> hey, I my... knew there was a, a licensing <laughs> process, but, I mean, I, I didn't realize there was an actual, like, test. I oh, thought yeah. it was, you know, you, you go down and pay some money and, you know, sign here, sign there, and uh, and you get your license. So, yeah, yeah. Danny, we, we can't we can't just go say, hey, let's, let's sell this house. <laughs> um... So, uh, well, like what I'm trying to do, they, uh, this is a public service announcement, by the way. <laughs> I'm looking for a <laughs> Galaxy Samsung <laughs> S9 cover. We, me and Danny have torn this place apart, and I can't find one, and they don't make them. So if you have a... Uh, a, a dinosaur a, phone <laughs> case, uh, yes. Lana, probably in your kids' toy box, uh, most likely. <laughs> uh, that's actually where I found one today. So I was going to bring it in, but I totally forgot. So. It, it, honestly, and we were talking about this before we went live, mm-hmm. it feels like you're walking around with a piece of glass not having mm-hmm. a case on it. So I, I need a case. I'll order one off Amazon, but if someone has one, they can get me, like, Today I'll I'll drive over to you I'll I'll pay you I'll whatever you want I'll buy you dinner whatever you want I just need a case for this thing it's a Samsung Galaxy S9 I know that's off topic <laughs> but I had to throw it out there because I just touched my phone and I like I don't even I'm scared to touch my phone yeah I well yeah I mean you know my issues with my phone oh, so damn. perpetual. But uh, yeah, I mean, my, I, I had an S8 before I finally got a, a actual current uh, 5G phone. But uh, yeah, that thing was was beat up, and and uh, I finally that uh, I got this phone for Christmas and tried to get it transferred over, was having trouble, and then finally just completely shattered my other phone. So I just went ahead and and you sometimes you just gotta you gotta break down an upgrade. I, I okay I, I will if I have to, but if someone has a case, you know, it has sentimental value, you know. It, you just need a case. That's it. That's it. All I need is a case. I don't yep. want to have to go buy a new phone. To, if it's a knock on wood, this one works fine. But yes, I do eventually need to get a new one. Uh, but okay, back back to real estate. So <laughs> okay, uh, so uh, w- with real estate, what what exactly uh, what what's going on in the market? Uh, with uh, the ship group, what are you guys working on, or what are you working on? Do you have uh, what? How's the market doing? Mm-hmm. Uh, just any anything that you want to throw out there as far as uh, what's going on with the ship group and and the market. Uh, the market's going great. It's definitely you know not as hot as it was you know six months ago, but definitely when we're getting listings, they're going under contract within a few days above the asking price, and so uh, definitely a good seller's market is what we'd say call it um and so if you're interested in listing pull out like get out of the equity that you have in there now is the time because housing is going up the prices um and so then it's just a great time if you have a chance then just be able to do that yeah, and, and if and we love kids here, Sorry. we use no, don't apologize. Yeah, don't, no, you you don't need to apologize. We, we have the queen, what we call the queen of talking sports, uh, which is uh, Pedro's uh, two two year old daughter, right? Two, just over two. Yeah, two two and a half ish, two and a quarter, yeah, yeah, what, yeah, somewhere yeah, yeah, in there. Yeah, so she, yeah, she usually takes over the studio and uh, and and does her thing. So okay, don't you, even you, worry you, about yeah, don't worry. You want to come over with mommy? Yeah. Do you come up? What was his name again? Brighton. Brighton. Yeah, he can absolutely. Can. Yeah, we got some Reese's. You want candy? <laughs> Nope. Danny <laughs> likes to Danny bribes my daughter with candy and I'm like you're you're going to be paying that dentist bill dude. Um Do we have a safety jacket you're talking on there? here? Yeah. You, you want to say hi? Say hello. Say hi. 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 Uh, I like your jacket. Say you going to go do some construction tonight? 
Yeah. He's like, heck yeah. 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 I got this. I'm get my work on. <laughs> okay, so anything else about the ship group? How can they get a hold of you? How can uh, they get a hold of the ship group? Or where can they find you online? Um, so our office number is 775-299-4123. And then we are on Facebook under ship group account um and so everybody is on there as admin and so we everybody has access to it so if you have any questions then that's the best direct way to us um or just call the office line so i have to say thank you to dusty if he's watching or if uh, f- uh your marketing person or maybe you can tell him yesterday i totally forgot to uh, i had them out on the couch but i forgot to put them in her diaper bag I was out oh, of diapers. diapers, and we were on a Zoom call. <laughs> I ran over to the store and literally ran to the store. Yeah, and they don't sell them there, so I went upstairs and asked all the realtors because <laughs> I know you guys have your kids. I'm like, does right. anybody have a diaper? Oh man! And uh, Dusty uh, Ship had a he. He said I might have one in yep. in my back seat. I oh, might. Okay. So he gave me his key because he was on the phone. Right. And he, he get handed me his keys, and I ran down, and he did. He happened to have just one what? sitting there on the Perfect. ground, and I'm like, thank <laughs> you. Like, like, I will take because it. she needed a diaper change. I would have had to leave the Zoom call oh if uh, okay. I would have had to run to CVS or something because yeah. she I totally spaced it, and um, I'm usually pretty good about that, but apparently yesterday I wasn't. So <laughs> we've had a pretty busy week, so I'm glad. So thank you, Dusty, yes. for, for <laughs> saving me. I'll, I'll buy you lunch or something because that <laughs> – that what that really did save me when I saw that diaper in, in his back seat. I was like, yes, yeah. got it. And he's he's a grandpa. Yeah, right. So he's not even dad. Two different <laughs> size options for yeah. you. I, I just grabbed whatever. I was like, I don't care what size it is. If it's too tight, if it's too like, it, I, as long as I have a diaper, because yeah, she needed a diaper change. So, yeah. um, I didn't want to uh, have her be you know sitting in that. So. Um, okay, so anything else that, that you want to throw out there or talk about when it comes to real estate? Do you got any or, hot houses that yeah, you really want or, to like, move? Yeah. Do, you, do you got any building projects? I, I don't know, just something? Yeah, uh, we have a new <laughs> listing on Autumn Colors. Okay. Um, and so it's a three-bedroom, two-bath, and currently listed. can't remember the price off the top of my head. Is it, is it a townhouse or is it the house? It's a house house. Okay. Yeah, and so it's a two-car garage. It just got listed this last week. Um, it's Julie Ridge as the listing agent, um, and so it's a super nice house, very well kept. So good house to. And those are fairly new homes. Yeah. Um, yeah. Where, where I'm not from Elk. Where's Where's Autumn Colors? Right, right across. Pretty much where I used to live. Right across from uh, Home Depot. Pretty much. And oh. the pack. Oh. oh okay. Mm-hmm. okay. Yeah. So oh, actually, new, per, yeah, the new subdivision, the, the new subdivision yep, up there. When you're on driving the right. up to the right. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Copy. So, and and a lot of those, uh, the the houses are are actually really nice. I, I have, well, that's actually where uh, our uh, partners Solis Auto. That that's where they bought a, a house up there. They oh. had a house built up there. Copy. Uh, so so they're pretty. They're they're really nice house. I'm not going to give you my aunt's address because she'll. <laughs> plus, you don't. <laughs> I don't. I don't know that people would want to go bother your aunt. Your, your, your you aunt, don't want to mess. Aunt with can it. handle her business. Oh, we'll she just, can handle we'll her. Just leave, she... <laughs> we'll just leave it at that. <laughs> I, I'm. Uh, we we love our friends at Solis Auto, but uh, there's sometimes like if I'm running late or something, I'm scared of my aunt. Yeah. <laughs> she keeps him in check. It's, yeah. It's oh cool. yeah. It, That's it, good it, thing it's, though. It's yeah. Right. <laughs> um, so if she ever decides to, uh, she'd be a great like assistant and say, "Hey, you need to be there at this time." And, she would. and trust me, if anyone needs that, it's Pedro. <laughs> 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 so uh, if there's anything else that you want to throw out there or chat about uh, with real estate or um, your your son, I know he's he's. Uh, Looks like he's he's content now. Yep, he's good. No, I'm not. <laughs> he's I'm like, not. no, I'm not. <laughs> he's like, give, oh, give me give me a microphone. <laughs> <laughs> I want to get in on this. Let me see what's going on. Here. So, like well, it. we want to thank the the ship group uh, with EXP Realty for uh, partnering with uh, Battleborn Media Networks and Talking Sports, Pedro and Danny and Ashley. We want to thank you for coming in. And any time that you want to come in or you have a listing or anything like that, you can feel free to post it on, share it to our page. Okay. You can also come on down and, and talk about it or anybody from the ship group as well. Um, we, we were happy to help. Also, too, uh, any open houses or anything, just let us know and say, if we can help, we can help. If we're available, we're, you know, 
Uh, the ship group has been nothing but great to us. Same with the Gaeta group. Uh, EXP right. Realty has been uh, great to us. Uh, so we we really appreciate you coming on. So if you want to throw that phone number out one more time, so in case people are, are looking for a home, whether they're looking to sell or buy or just have any questions sure. uh, about Realty and or financing or anything like that for, for real estate, if you want to throw that number out there. Yeah, we're able to answer any of those questions. Um, office phone number is 775-299-4123. And then Facebook is also an option under Ship Group. Okay. So, Danny, do, do you have anything, no, anything we, else? Thanks for uh, coming and spending some time with us. And like Pedro said, anytime yeah. you got something, you can feel free to what? send us a text. Say, I got this house. We need to get it sold, and uh, we'll do what we can, except for taking tests. I'm not going to take okay. tests. So you got to take care of all that. We'll just, <laughs> I'll uh, handle that we'll, part. Okay, cool. We'll, just, we'll get the, the, the I, word out there for you. I, I kind of okay. want to see the test now because I, I'd imagine it's pretty, it, it's pretty hard. I've had friends who have tried to take it, and uh, they didn't pass the first time. Mm-hmm. So I'd imagine, uh, like I said, you probably had an advantage because you've been in the in the business. Mm-hmm. But I mean, if I were to take it, uh, I I'm sure I'd bomb it. <laughs> I'm sure, it Danny off would as, <laughs> like Chinese whenever you're starting to learn it. So, but you get it. It's yeah. It's like a second language to me now. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> All right, Ashley. Well, we appreciate you coming in and um, uh, go get your your little buddy there some. Some food. You want some dinner? Do you, are you hungry? Yeah. No. 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 He's got to go do some construction work. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I got to go to work, man. <laughs> All right, Ashley, well, we appreciate you coming in. Yes. And uh, thank you again to the ship group with EXP Realty. Uh, we'll, uh, you're more than welcome to stay. Okay. Uh, but if you, if you want to take off that, that's totally fine too. That's completely up to you. Okay. I'll probably take off and give him some dinner. Absolutely. <laughs> I don't, go get, I don't go get blame me at all. All right. T- thank t- you guys. T- yep. Yep. Tell her to get, get you something good. Are you ready to go? Okay. You're all you. good. You don't don't even worry about having to duck or anything. You can just walk by and okay. yeah. it's you're okay. you're all good there. Awesome. Thank you guys. Hey, thank you guys and you have a good night. You see you yep. little stud. We'll see you, buddy. Yeah. All right. So uh moving on, thank you again. Uh that was Ashley from uh the ship group with EXP Realty and we want to thank them again for uh supporting Battleborn Media Networks and talking sports with Pedro and Danny. So uh, Danny, what what do we have going on, man? Well, I mean, we've got uh, got a little bit of stuff going on. We've uh, um, we had our first leg of uh, of the winter if summer uh, summit series um, last night out in uh, out in Spring Creek. We had uh, Oco High School basketball against Spring Creek High School basketball. Um, so, kind of getting that rekindled. Has haven't had that for a while, and that's that's always fun stuff when you pack in. Uh, packing a bunch of you know football games are one thing you know it's it's you know the amazing football games between spring creek and elko as you know but you pack those those school or those fans all into a gymnasium and uh and that makes it a little uh, a little more wild if you will so uh pretty pretty calm as far as is the crowds were concerned but uh um got kicked off didn't get the jv scores but uh elko uh, varsity boys basketball um lit up the scoreboard um i think uh they they won by uh, 46 points um um there at centennial gym and then uh and then the girls it, it kind of flipped the script you had um uh the spring creek high school girls sitting at 13 and 1 on the season and uh and handled the uh elko girls so uh, congratulations to them winning that first leg of the Summit Series, and then of course the Oku Boys, which is constantly the uh, the the uh, class of the Northern 3A, if you will. Clicus has uh, done a m- wonderful job um, with that program, and uh, this uh, you know he's had a couple of shots at a state title over the last several years. Um, probably realistically, uh, the best shot um, it, on paper. Um, was probably during COVID, um, but uh, but uh, he's got one son left there, and uh, and uh, Dumas is is also still there, I believe, and uh, so they so they got a good squad. They're gonna they're gonna look to to make a run at that uh, that state title again, and I'm sure Clicus is super hungry after uh, not being able to play for an entire season. So they'll uh, <clears throat> they're gonna play uh, South Tahoe on, on Saturday here at home. Um, and then next Friday, uh, they travel to Churchill County, which if you follow um, 
any recent history and I didn't bring it up to Cooper when he was here the other day because we were trying to stay positive but uh, lost a couple heartbreakers in recent memory in the state finals against uh, Fallon over there so uh, that's what we got going on in basketball um, local high school basketball uh, there is some pal stuff going on um, for the younger guys um, but uh, we do have uh, some wrestling going on as well. I uh, did want to give a little bit of a mention to uh, Alonzo Lujan, uh, Elko High School varsity soccer coach. Um, ran into him the other day at the taco truck and uh, uh, was talking to him. Uh, didn't get any information right now um, as far as uh, exactly what went on back uh, uh, But he, he went to kind of a, a national all-star uh, soccer deal down in Arizona and was able to help coach with that and took a couple of kids uh, down there. So I don't want to screw up the details, but uh, as soon as Alonzo gets those uh, details over to me, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll give a mention to uh, those boys and what they got to do. And, and, and soccer seems up and coming, Pedro. I mean, it's, you know, we've got elite FC that's out there. There's, you know, several tra- uh, travel clubs, um, AYSO, of course, uh, you know, our friend Robert's really involved with, with those programs. So it seems to me, and once again, I'm not from Elko, um, um, you know, soccer's really, really uh, became, I don't know that it's any more popular, but it's become more successful um, in, in the last four or five years. How, how history-wise, what does Elko High School, <laughs> is there any local soccer history you can enlighten me on? So, well, soccer-wise, um, I know uh, Ramon, who uh, used to be the owner of, of Bill Toki, actually my next-door neighbor growing up, he he actually uh, made the paella for for my wedding. The the what? Uh, the for Bill Toki. That's pie, where you say paella or something. What did you just yeah, say? Yeah, you don't know what paella is. No. How do you live in Elko and not know what paella is? <laughs> 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 I, I'm, I'm guessing it has some ethnic. Uh, it's a, touch it's, a, it's, to it's it. a it's a Basque uh, it's a Basque rice. It's got it's got chorizo in it. What? Yeah, I probably don't know about it because you never have chorizo. And sometimes uh, it, it depends on who makes it. But uh, Ramon, he, he's he's actually he's he's a great guy. Like I said, I, he was literally um, my my next door neighbor growing up, and he actually donated. Uh, uh, paella when my mom uh when we did her memorial when she passed away so ramon ran a a really a, a really successful uh travel soccer team uh they would do in they would have to practice indoor because they would travel but so they would practice over at the igloo that was back when we were practicing for high school ball over at the igloo so uh ramon high school was baseball uh, yeah excuse me uh, did I say something else? You just said ball. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, so we when <laughs> we when we they, we'd be hitting in the cages and they'd be over uh, with his team um, on the you know in the rink uh, doing indoor soccer. I'm not exactly sure where they traveled or how they're stru- they were structured, but I know he did quite a bit. Um, but soccer is one of those sports that I, I feel for a, a while there was kind of neglected right. uh, to an extent. Not that people didn't play it, not that there wasn't coaches, not that there wasn't volunteers, but uh, it now, like you said, now there's what we have, what, like four travel uh, yeah, leagues well, I that mean, I know there, of? Yeah, there's, I mean, there's at least three travel clubs, and then how many teams are within that club? Because I know, I mean, when uh, uh, um, Alex, uh, you know, from Elite sends over to us, and Alex is the one that donated all the meat, you know, and... Uh, we have uh, he, he's got several programs and he's he's showing eight U and ten U and twelve U and so uh, yeah there uh, there's just a lot of different uh, soccer going around so yeah I was just kind of curious to see if you know the soccer the high school soccer and, and you know it it's almost uh, to me like the early on in in my existence in Elko <clears throat> it's kind of how how Elko uh, the Elko wrestling club was treated uh, you know you had of course you know we, we just talked about um, you know the, the success of, of Coach Klikas. And uh, the Boys Varsity Indians Basketball Club um, has done a really great job. And uh, it just seemed from the inside that, you know, the, the wrestling was the other sport, you know. And for whatever reason, I, I, I don't know what that is. Uh, but, you know, then you, then you go over the hill and the, and the script is kind of flipped. You know, you've got wrestling, you know, you've got what I'm still going to say is one of the best high school wrestling programs in the nation. 
um, out there in Spring Creek with what Barrett did and, of course, Coach Pearson that's still out there. Um, and then, you know, the ba- basketball was kind of like, oh, yeah, and then we have basketball. So, so you know, it's just one of those dynamics, and I, and I think it comes with, you know, the group of kids, the group of parents, you know, that come up through the programs, um, and, and it's really important. Um, it goes back to the youth programs, and if you have a good, solid youth foundation, uh, like I call it feeder programs, um, then you you tend to have a little bit more success if you can keep that continuity um, up through the high school program. So and that's what Spring Creek has done at their their youth wrestling and and, and things like that. And and Klikas even I mean you know boys basketball he you know he's he's involved. I, I know when I coached uh, my one year that I coached pal basketball, um, Klikas was was coaching too and 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 the the draft. The way they did the drafting was kind of bullshit. But anyway, so I mean, you got the high school basketball coach with basically the cream of the crop kids, and, you know, they just ran over everybody. But, I mean, he's he's breeding those kids at a young age, you know, to, to be a part of his program. And, you know, hey, this is what we're going to teach you. And if there's continuity from the youth program um, to, the, to, the high, or to the high school program, uh, and then you're going to have a lot more success. So... So, yeah, I was just kind of curious. I didn't know if, uh, you know, high school soccer it didn't seem like it, it was really that popular. And I think now there's also – it also comes to the amenities you got, the, the facilities. Since Adobe's been built, it's almost, it's almost kind of right along with that. You can, you can go back to when Adobe Middle School was built, and a lot of these uh, high school kids that are successful – kind of started back about that time and they, that's where they play their high school soccer games so i think uh, competing for quality field time uh you know is, is might have something to do with it as well well i think so too because because before i mean in in high school uh when i was in high school uh they would play at uh mountain view park the right. the one right behind the the dental place yeah. Yeah. um yeah. Which that actually used to be dirt, <laughs> right? Yeah, I, there. Yeah, I mean, they that Mountain View Park has came a long ways too, and they still. I mean, you know, with the, you know every, you know, with the, the Spring Creek uh, uh, Jesse and them with what they're doing with uh, with N N Y S A. I think I got that acronym right. So, um, with growing that program with A Y S O and Elite and all these programs, I mean, you, you pretty much, you know, it's like Little League season. You know, you're you, there's only so many diamonds in town, and we, when we've got you know, 35 little league teams and 25 little league softball teams. You know, you're just basically trying to find a piece of grass to go hit on and and and, and do what you can. So, so hopefully we'll have some facilities 